Hello, good evening. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Welcome good to the evening. class. Good evening. Thank you very much for joining. So I got here uh, Cindy, I got Carla, Anna Victoria, Lisbeth, Astrid. And Hi, good evening. Good evening. So my name is Marcela and I'm going to be um, the teacher right, for this particular module. So thank you very much for joining. And how many students are you? How many students are you guys? 80? 80? Yes. Or 18? 18. Oh, 18. Okay, thank you very much. Give Creo yo, porque no estoy segura, pero sí como ese contado. Okay, very good, excellent. So we're going to wait for the rest to join, but in the meantime, we're going to start, right? Vamos a comenzar. Uh, let me just scan a little bit, así como un, un escaneo así rapidito. Uh, ¿Hasta dónde habían llegado con su maestro anterior, perdón? Hasta el 1.12. 1.12, o sea que les falta la sección 2. Uh, sí. Uh -huh. Sí, porque sobre las entrevistas que teníamos que elegir en la entrevista y lo, teníamos que hacerlo en pareja y grabarlo y mandarlo. Y uh -huh. Uh -huh. hasta ahí nos quedamos. Ok, thank you very much. Excellent, thank you for that information. So that's a problem actually. We're going to start with, you know, Today is Thursday, right? So I'm going to try to have a wrap up, right? But actually sections one and two are the ones that we work on module one, right? Or week one. Semana uno es para sección uno y dos, okay? So um, probably what I'm going to do right now is that I'm going to uh, cover, you know, probably section number two. Com cubrir la sección dos para lograr la meta de este día, right? And then next week, we're going to have the midterm test, right? And also we are going to have a review of present simple, right? Because present simple is like the main topic of section, of, I mean, module principiantes dos, right? So thank you very much for joining guys. Let me go ahead and start sharing the screen, okay? And let me open up the, um, the platform. That's going to be section one, section two. Does he have a view? So this is going to be this topic. One second. Okay, very good. So pretty much uh, section number two, it's the one that we're going to try to cover today. Uh, I'm going to have a review on Present Simple probably next week because actually Present Simple, it's a very, very important topic, guys. It, it's something basic, right? But it's something that we really need to, to handle, right? El Presente Simple, eh, pues la verdad es que sí es importantísimo, es, es vital para que ustedes lo sepan manejar. And we're going to have a review. But for today, for the día de hoy, si me gustaría cumplir la meta, que sección 1 y 2 para semana 1. Okay, and tomorrow, uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to send you some links, okay, for you to practice. I mean, those are going to be interactive worksheets, right, or for you to practice the uh, topics that we have uh, probably covered during uh, section number 1, okay. And then also, um, generally, I send videos, ¿verdad? Mando un, un, un video, dos videos, mando ejercicios, pero son ejercicios extra, no son tareas, ¿ok? Entonces, everything is going to be covered here, ¿ok? Y also, me dijeron que hay una lista que hay que pasar. ¿Es eso correcto? Y la lista la tengo por acá. Sí, más. supuestamente nos tienen que tomar asistencia ustedes por lo de INSAFOR. Uh -huh. Muy bien, thank you. Voy a empezar con la primera parte ahorita. Eh, guys, comencé tres minutos antes porque este salón de clase, esta, esta, esta conference room, la utiliza alguien más a las nueve. Así que yo necesito terminar tres minutos antes. Por eso es que yo comencé tres minutitos antes la clase. 
Okay, so let me see Angie Abigail Aguilar Diaz. Cindy Areli. I'm here. Okay, who said here? Cindy Areli. ¿Quién dijo here? Angie o Cindy? Yes, Cindy Aldana. Cindy, Cindy, thank you. What about Karina? Karina Yesenia? Ana Lisbeth Alvarado? I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Samuel Jonathan Anaya? Samuel Jonathan? Okay. Uh, Brian Armando? Brian Armando? Astrid Daniela? Here, teacher. Thank you. Eh, Dania Guadalupe? Ana Victoria? I'm here. Eh, Ana Astrid uh, Maria Cortez? Here, teacher. Thank you. Jose Ismael Duarte? I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Eh, Mario Alberto Escobar? No, okay. Mari, Marta Isabel Espinosa? No, muy bien. Daisy Carolina estoy... Flores? ¿Quién dijo Marta aquí? Isabel. Okay, thank Marta you very Isabel, much. Present. Thank you. Daisy Carolina? No está. Kenny Yamilet Flores Martínez? Kenny Yamilet? I'm here, teacher. Thank you very much. Eh, Jose Alfredo Flores Rodríguez? Present. Thank you very much. Eh, Silvia Evelyn Garcia Toledo? No, okay. Rosenberg Albert Armando Guzmán Umaña? I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Rosemary? Uh, teacher. teacher, Silvia de Rivera le saluda. Silvia de Estoy. Rivera. Ah, okay. Muchísimas gracias, Silvia. Eh, Rosemary Carolina Linares? José Rigoberto Martínez? Yanira del Carmen Martínez Calderón eh, Carla Paola Martínez Flores no. Carla Beatriz Martínez Miranda Presente Thank you uh, Sara Elizabeth Martínez Quintana Sara Elizabeth José Edgardo Pérez Rodríguez Present teacher Thank you. Eh, Diego Serrano Grande? No. Eh, Walter Manuel Vides Retana? No. Muy bien. So voy a pasar lista al final por si alguno más, alguien más se ha agregado. Ok. Eh, well, generally, guys, the class is in English. La clase es en inglés. Igual, si usted tiene una pregunta o necesita que yo le repite algo, pues no hay ningún problema. Lo voy a hacer con mucho gusto. Eh, let me see. Teacher. Dígame. Eh, lo siento, este, yo le escribí al chat de que estoy presente en la, en la sesión. Eh, es que yo no veo, eh, no tengo pen, no el, el teléfono a la mano en la clase, lo siento. Sí, pero ¿a cuál chat me escribió? ¿Aquí en el de Zoom? Ah, ok. De acuerdo. Entonces, por esa razón, el chico. ¿Perdón? Se le escucha cortado, Karina. Karina Lemos. Sí, Karina, ya vi, pensé que, pensé que me había escrito al chat del tel, de WhatsApp, ahí es donde sí no, no lo tengo a la mano, pero acá sí el chat de Zoom ya lo abrí. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. okay. Vaya, chicos, let me share the screen. Okay, so when it comes to section number two, guys, um, and are you able to see the presentation? Sure. Yes? Soy Diego, yes. ahí me mencionó, pero no se oía los audífonos, ahorita lo acabo de cambiar. 
anótame ahí en el, en, el, en el chat y yo luego con mucho gusto lo agrego. Muchas gracias, Diego. Ok, can you see the screen, guys? Can you see the presentation? Yes. yes. Excellent, ok. So, I'm going to leave in standby section number one. And as I was sharing with you before, if we have time, we're going to cover present simple, right? Which is something very important that we need to handle. Then, uh, when it comes to section number two, we begin with the main objective, okay? Which is by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for talking about, uh, I mean, to talk, I'm sorry, learn vocabulary to talk about places in houses and apartments, okay? So the very first thing that comes, right, in the, in the uh, section number two is, you know, the vocabulary about house, I mean, about a house and also an apartment. Of course, guys, here in El Salvador, probably there are some sections that we are not familiar with or that we do not have them in our houses, right? But in other countries, they do. And um, we're going to check the vocabulary first, okay? So as you can see there, the first picture is about the house, right? And do, you have the first floor. So you got the first floor and then you have the second floor. So this section comes downstairs and this is upstairs, right? So on the first floor, we have the main rooms. Actually, they are similar to the ones that we have in El Salvador, like living room. We got the living room, we got the dining room, the kitchen, the laundry room, and the stairs, right? Then if you see there, we have the garage. It's a small garage. On the second floor, we got two bedrooms. We got bedroom number one, bedroom number two. We have a closet inside one of the bedrooms. We got the hole, the stairs to go down, and you got the main room. And next to the main room, we have an adjoining bathroom, right? Or an adjoined bathroom, okay? So that is the vocabulary about a house, okay? Do you have questions about the vocabulary of, a, of the house on the picture? Do you know the meaning of all the words? ¿Estamos claros con el vocabulario? ¿O hay alguna pregunta? Todo bien. Ok, ¿Cómo, pre ¿Cómo preguntamos eh, qué significa en English? How do you say? No, how do you say es cómo se dice. What, is, what ah, is the meaning? Excellent. Okay, we say what is the meaning of. So let me open up the chat here. Oh my goodness, chat. And I'm going to type it in the chat cuando lo encuentre because I cannot find it. Open chat, please. Ahí está. Sorry, guys. Ahí está. Okay, so we say what is the meaning of. And then the word, in, insert the word there. Ahí en el chat está, okay? What is the meaning of? Okay, so what is the meaning of? Which word or which, um, yeah, which word from the vocabulary section? What is the meaning of hall? Hall. Hall is pasillo, hall. Pasillo, okay? What is the meaning of style? Stairs, stairs, eh, those are escaleras, right? Stairs. Mm -hmm. Any other question? No. No more uh, questions. What, what is the meaning, uh, what is the meaning, uh, laundry room? What is the meaning of? What is the meaning of? What is the of? Laundry room is el cuarto de lavado. Right, uh, that section is where you have the washing machine, the dryer machine. But in El Salvador, generally we don't have that, right? Um, okay. uh -huh. Nosotros ponemos la lavadora y las, no, te, no usamos secadora, por cierto. But in the United States, they use the washing machine, okay, in the laundry room, in the laundry room, okay. We have the washing machine and the dryer machine how do you say laundry 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 room mm -hmm. thank you you're welcome okay so that is the vocabulary about the apartment 
but what about, I mean, about the house, but what about the apartment? As you know, houses are, are a lot bigger than an apartment, right? And then we have the apartment, and as you can see, the apartment, it's a lot, you know, um, narrower, right, than the house. It's like, yeah, it's, it's the space is just in a different uh, position, right? So there you have a bedroom, right, and an adjoined, adjoining bathroom. Then you have the kitchen, and you have a section for the elevator. Obviously, in El Salvador, we do not have elevators. Then you have the dining room and the living room. So generally in apartments, there's only one or two bedrooms, but no more than that, unless you have a big apartment, right? But that's not kind of usual in El Salvador, right? No tenemos así como grandes apartamentos and generally they are very small, son pequeños. So the vocabulary is similar, elevators, no tenemos ascensores en los apartamentos, ¿verdad? Sería carísimo, but actually no. We do not have elevators, okay, in the apartment. So do you have any questions about the vocabulary? Questions about the vocabulary? No questions. Excellent. What is the meaning of a lobby? Lobby. Lobby is a section, uh, I would say it's like a um whenever you can find a receptionist but actually we do not have that in el salvador so es, es, es como una recepcionista verdad eh, un área para recepcionista que está ese es el lobby and they keep your mail right i'm going to type it in the chat they receive they receive your mail okay your mail receive, receive your mail eh, they receive your bills right mm -hmm. Um, they um, help you maintenance. I'm sorry, no, no se ve lo que está escribiendo. Está ah. en el chat. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Okay, so it says uh, they receive your mail. Le reciben todo su correo, le reciben sus recibos, este, le ayudan con el mantenimiento de su apartamento, del edificio, etc. That's the lobby section, okay, where you can find someone to help you. We do not have that in El Salvador. Generally, we have a lobby, but in um, office, uh, office buildings and hotels. Mm -hmm. Solo que sean edificios así como administrativos y hoteles. You, have, you can find a lobby. In other countries, eh, when they have apartment buildings, because actually they, they are called apartment buildings. <coughs> si quiere, alguien le está viendo el teléfono. Se le puede poner en silencio, por favor porque se escucha en la clase, apartment building. So it is called apartment building, right? If it is apartment building, como es un edificio de apartamentos, ellos sí, en otros países tienen un lobby, because they need to take care of the maintenance, they need to take care of many things, and they need to help all the people, right? Very good. So any other question, alguna otra pregunta? No more questions. What is the meaning of first floor? What is the meaning of? First floor. First floor. First floor. Um, does anyone know the meaning of first floor? What is first floor? Primer piso. Exactly, Primer piso. right? So I was, I was sharing with you that actually we have the first floor, right? And then you need to go uh, through the stairs, right? To the second floor. And then we got the third floor, the fourth floor, et cetera. So the first floor is the first section of the house, okay? Any other question? Okay. You're welcome. Any other question? No questions, very good. So that is the vocabulary about house. But then we have a conversation, right? There is a conversation here and the name of, or the title I would say of the conversation is my new apartment, okay? Perdonen si de repente me ven que veo acá. Y luego me ven que veo acá. Lo que pasa es que en este monitor tengo la presentación y en este monitor los tengo ustedes. Así que that's why. So, actually, we have the conversation between two people, okay? I will read it first, and then I will ask you guys to go ahead and read it, okay? So, we got Linda and we got Chris, okay? And I'm going to um, share with you the conversation, okay? It says, guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? 
Well, it has a big living room, a small bathroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. And where is it? Oh, on Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. And does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Okay, so that is a conversation between Linda and Christ. Do you have any questions about the vocabulary words? Do you have any questions about the vocabulary words? What is the meaning of building? Edificio. Building. Edificio, muy bien. Mm. Building. Mm. Building. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Como que si esa U no estuviera ahí. Building. Well, any other it, question? Well, is the meaning of like uh, view. Lakeview se llama el lugar, ajá. Así se llama el lugar, Lakeview. Vista mm. Lago. Uh -huh. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Anything else? Any other question? No. Oh. Very good. Okay, guys. So as you can see here, and we're, we're still working with a present simple, and hopefully I will be able to have a quick review on present simple. So what I want to take from here, from the conversation is, number one, the type of questions, okay? So if you move to the next section, okay, you will be able to see that actually there are more, right? There are more, uh, there are more things, okay, related to the questions with the present simple, right? So actually, uh, Whenever we are talking about present simple, there is something very important that you need to know, guys, okay? No sé si ya lo habían visto con su teacher anterior, pero si no, pues voy a aprovechar and voy a agregar aquí algo. Una yes. pregunta. Dígame. One Se question. Sí, one, one question. question. Este, lo que le entendimos al profesor anterior, porque sí ya nos había explicado esto, es que do es para I, you, we, they. Y does es she, he, it. Para oraciones negativas en presente simple. ¿O no es así? No, este es para preguntas. Pero ahorita se los explico okay. nuevamente. No hay problema. Thank you very much, Ana Victoria. Very kind. Thank you. Just give me one second and I will share with you a little bit of that. Ok. Estos son apuntes. Ok, son apuntes siempre de de lo que he visto con, con esto, but actually I would like to share it with you as well. And I will put it here, okay? Well, guys, that's gonna be for questions. Then let me see if I can find something for present simple. Present simple, present simple. Session number one, present simple. I'm going to stop sharing this one. Me voy a mover a otra. Give me one second. Wait for me, please. Session two. Tengo una con un resumen para que lo veamos así rapidito. Give me one second. Okay, and mientras cargan las presentaciones, just one thing, guys. Whenever we're talking about present simple, the very first thing that we have to remember is that there are some rules, right, that we need to follow. Now, what are the rules that we need to follow whenever we are talking about present simple? Do you remember the rules to add ES or S to the verbs? Mm -hmm. What are the rules that we need to handle? Lo primerito en present simple es manejar las reglas, ¿verdad? What are the rules that you remember about present simple? 
only um, she he it is or it is that's only rule and um, the past teacher mm -hmm. say okay thank you very much cindy Yes, actually, it's true. We need to add ES or IES or S to certain verbs, right? However, uh, uh, there are some right, rules right. that we need to um, that we need to apply. They are not that complicated, right? They are kind of simple, and our the following rules are the ones that we need to handle. Okay, I'm going to share them. Give me one second. Okay. So whenever we have a present simple, guys, these rules, you need to handle them, okay? Esto es clave para presente simple, okay? What are, the, what are the verbs that I'm going to modify, right, for me to be able to add uh, or to convert the verb to present simple? Well, this is what I'm going to do. Number one, verbs ending in C-H, S, S-H, O, or X, we're going to add E-S to the verbs, right? For example, we have watch, watches. Then we got guess, guesses. Finish, finishes. Go, goes. Fix, fixes, right? No se preocupe que esta información se la comparto luego en el chat, okay? So whenever you have this information, um, you are going to, I mean, whenever you have the that ending in those specific situations, right, you're going to add ES to the verbs. So it's not the same if I say, I watch TV every day, or saying, for example, Cindy watches TV every day. She watches TV every day. I watch TV every day. So as Cindy was mentioning, whenever we have he, she, it, and singular nouns, we are going to use, um, we are going to use these rules, okay? Teacher, but what happens when I have a verb ending in Y? Well, if the verb ends in Y, preceded by a consonant, I'm going to replace the Y to an I, and then I'm going to add ES to the verb. Let me close the window. I'm going to add ES to the verb, okay? Teacher, pero que sucede con play? ¿Por qué a play no le agrego esa letra? Bueno, no se le agrego a play porque play no va precedido de consonante, va precedido de vocal. Right? E, and then when we have a, a verb ending in Y preceded by a, a, a vowel, I do not add, modify the, the spelling. I just add S to the verbs. Teacher y todos los demás verbos? Well, we have one more. Hay una más. If the verb ends in E, si termina en E, como ya termina en E, solo voy a agregar S. Like, for example, dance or write, right? Those two verbs are uh, ended in um, E. So dance, dances, write, writes, okay? So if the verb ends in E, I'm going to add ES to the verb, okay? So, si teacher, si no termina en Y y preside una consonante, tampoco termina en CH, SS, SH, O, X, y pues no termina en Y, preside de vocal, ¿qué hago? Solo agregamos la letra S al verbo, and that's it, okay? So that's the very first thing. Now, all these rules, todas estas reglas yo las voy a aplicar cuando yo esté hablando o esté utilizando oraciones afirmativas, okay? Oraciones negativas y preguntas, no, okay? So, teacher, pero in that case, y en ese caso, entonces, ¿cuál es la estructura de present simple? Bueno, es bien sencilla, okay? Y es la siguiente. If I want to make up positive sentences, okay, these are the elements that I'm going to need, okay? Subject, verb, and complement. Subject, verb, and complement. So, for instance, if I'm saying, um, well, I'm going to open up here something. I'm going to give you some examples. So if it is going to be affirmative, I'm going to say, for example, um, um, the students, right? The students, um, the students do, right? The students do the homework every day, okay? Students do the homework every day. Uy, perdón, esto va separado. Every day. Now, a, I can say, for instance, she does, right? 
the homework in the afternoon. Okay, she does the homework in the afternoon. So as you can see there, we have two types of, of subjects. Tenemos dos sujetos, uno que es plural, the students, o sea, que en este caso es they, ¿verdad? They do the homework every day, or the students do the homework every day. And here, I can just put it like this, right? And instead of saying she, I can say Mary. Mary does the homework in the afternoon. Y eso la convierte ella en un singular noun, okay? Entonces, when I have singular nouns, I have to apply the rules, okay? Only in affirmative sentences. Solo en las oraciones afirmativas, okay? ¿Qué sucede luego? When I want to use, when I want to, I'm sorry, when I want to say negative statements, cuando ya voy yo a las oraciones negativas, voy a hacer esto un poquito para acá y lo vamos a dejar ahí, ahí. And then what happens if I want to uh, make up negative statements? Okay, so pretty much I'm going to need the same thing. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Que ahí es donde yo debo de tener mucho cuidado con el subject que estoy utilizando, ¿verdad? Porque tengo don't y tengo doesn't. Entonces, como nos comentaba su compañera, don't, lo voy a utilizar para, para I, you, we, el otro you, they, and plural nouns. Porque a veces esperamos nosotros encontrar en las oraciones el I, you, we, they, pero... Puede que esa representación no sea la que encontremos, pueda que encontremos un plural noun o un nombre en plural. Teacher, ¿y cuál podría ser un plural noun? The students, the chairs, children, eh, parents, okay, uh, glasses, los lentes, ¿verdad? Pair of glasses. Etc. Esos son ejemplos de plural nouns. Y como sé que son plural nouns, yo sé que los plurales no le voy a agregar ningún cambio las en los verbos. And then, uh, doesn't, tengo doesn't, ¿verdad? Ok, doesn't. Lo voy a utilizar con he, she, it, uh, he, she, it, and singular nouns. Teacher, ¿y cuáles son ejemplos de singular nouns? I can say Mary, I can say the computer, I can say the food, I can say the water, the water, the water, I can say Jose, for instance, I can say uh, the ruler, right? Oh my goodness, the ruler, okay? Esos son ejemplos de singular nouns. I can say Mary watches TV in the afternoon. The food tastes delicious, right? Jose, Jose uh, plays basketball, okay? Uh, the computer works slowly, right? Entonces, todos esos son ejemplos de singular nouns. Yo sé que cuando yo tengo singular nouns, ¿verdad? Entonces, ahí es donde yo voy a ocupar las reglas y voy a ocupar doesn't. Ok, entonces, examples, let's see. Y estoy haciendo este preámbulo para llegar al tema, al tema que está en la diapositiva que tenemos que estar trabajando ahorita, ok. So let me go ahead and see, let me get here another example that's going to be for, uh, I'm going to take one from here, ok. So that, um, no, Mary, Mary watches, I mean, Mary doesn't, I'm sorry, Mary doesn't watch TV in the afternoon. Oh, no, in the evening. In the e evening. Okay. Uh, I can say uh, my parents, ¿verdad? My, no, porque estamos contestando. No, sí, sí, sí. My parents don't have dinner at home. No cenan en la casa, right? Mary doesn't watch TV in the evening. My parents don't have dinner at home. ¿Y quién es Mary, teacher? Mary is she. ¿Y quiénes son my parents, teacher? My parents are they. Ellos, mis papás. Okay. Or I can say another example. I can say the computer doesn't work. The computer doesn't work. ¿Y teacher, y qué es el computer? ¿Por qué tiene doesn't? Ah, porque the computer es 
it. Oops. Ok. Entonces hago este, esta, esta especificación, chicos, porque algunas veces nosotros esperamos ver el I, you, he, she, it. Y no siempre lo vamos a encontrar así. Vamos a encontrar Mary, vamos a encontrar my parents, vamos a encontrar the computer, vamos a encontrar the students, ¿verdad? The teacher, etc. So that is about the negative form, ¿ok? And what are the elements? Voy a dejar esto por acá. The elements are subject, uh, the auxiliary don't or doesn't, dependiendo del caso, and the verb. Y aquí tengo un BF, pero el BF no es para best friend, ¿ok? Es para base form, ¿ok? So you need a verb in base form, ¿ok? En la forma base del verbo. Teacher, ¿y qué es una forma base? Bueno, es simple y sencillamente el nombre del verbo. Un verbo sin ser modificado y sin ser cambiado en lo absoluto, right? Eso es un, un base form. Uh, then I need a complement. I mean, a complement, if you want to add a complement, but if you don't, that's okay, not a problem. Ahora bien, me voy a pasar al último punto, que es bien importante, ¿ok? ¿Por qué, teacher? Porque en el último punto hay algo bien interesante. Whenever I have questions, cuando yo tengo preguntas, oops, sorry. Whenever I have questions, I have two types of questions, okay? Uno de ellos es eh, con WH words or WH phrases, y uno que solo comienza con tuvo con does, okay? Y ese es el tema exactamente en esta, en esta última sección, sección, sección número dos. Si no la terminamos hoy, voy a ocupar hoy y el lunes y para que podamos pues, avanzar en eso. Igual, chicos, recuerden que cuando nosotros estamos trabajando la primera semana, la, va así el orden. Semana 1, sección 1 y 2, ¿verdad? Semana 2, sección 3 y el midterm test. Semana 3, van las últimas secciones para que la última semana 4 se haga el review junto con la prueba final, el final exam. ¿Cuál es la meta para mañana? Para que vayamos cabalitos, la meta para mañana es que usted trabaje en su plataforma hasta la sección número 2, section number 2, ¿ok? But if you have questions, las preguntas las manejo yo así. Si usted encuentra un ejercicio que, le, que no, no le permite de completarlo, tiene algún problema o tiene alguna duda, usted lo apunta y me lo trae a la clase. Y luego lo, lo resolvemos aquí en vivo y en directo para que cualquiera que tenga esa misma duda, pues se le quede clarificado. Y si alguien no ha llegado a ese ejercicio, pues igual cuando llegue no va a tener el mismo problema porque ya va a saber cómo hacerlo. Ok, eh, Vamos a ver. When it comes to questions, eh, vemos acá los elementos, ¿ok? Si ustedes se fijan, hay un switch, ¿ok? Hay un switch entre el auxiliar y el, y el subject. So, this auxiliary comes at the beginning. After the auxiliary, I got the subject, ¿ok? And then I got my verb, the complement. Y lo último que no debe faltar, chicos, es el question mark. Sin el question mark, yo no tengo una pregunta. Now, remember that in English, we have just a question mark at the end, right? In Spanish, we have question mark at the beginning, question mark at the end, exclamation mark at the beginning, exclamation mark at the end. But in English, we just have the one at the end, okay? Yo siempre pienso que en mi lógica, tenemos solo el, el, el signo de interrogación al final porque el auxiliar al principio la hace como ese, eh, ese eh, um, question mark que nosotros tenemos al principio en español, ¿verdad? So, automatically, By switching the subject with the auxiliary, you're making up a question, okay? So, at the beginning, if you see, yo lo puedo dejar así, okay? Puedo dejar auxiliary, subject, verb, complement, and question mark. But sometimes I'm going to need this. I'm going to need WH words like where, what, and when, okay? So I'm going to probably give you two examples right now, and then I'm going to move to the other presentation. Voy a mover a la otra presentación. Veamos. Um, one example with the first formula could be this one, okay? Do you have a car? Do you have a car? Okay. I can ask, do you, well, does, veamos un nombre. Does Ana Victoria, does Anita, does Anita have uh, brothers and sisters? Anita, do you have brothers and sisters? Ana Victoria? Yes, I have. Okay. Entonces la respuesta sería yes, 
she does, right? Very good. Uh, let me see. Hi. Jose Ismael? Si. Uh, do you work? Do you work? Yes, I, I work. Okay, very good. So yes, he does. Thank you very much. Okay. okay. Now, whenever I have this type of questions, well, let me ask someone else. Uh, Cindy, do you have a car? Huh? Cindy, creo que está en mute. Yes, I do. Okay, and she says, <laughs> yes, thank you, Cindy. Yes, I do. Okay, entonces, I can ask the question directly to the person, but do you have a car? Us. We did right now, and she says, yes, I do, right? So I include the short answers. Esa se llama short answer. Y luego yo pregunto, does Anita have brothers and sisters? Brothers and sisters, perdón. Eh, and she says, yes, I do, teacher. ¿Verdad? Y luego yo le cuento a, a quién, a Karina Alemán, le digo, eh, yes, she does. Porque Karina, Karina Alemán me preguntó a mí, ¿verdad? Yes, she does. She has brothers and sisters, right? Y luego, pues, viene Lisbeth Alvarado y me pregunta, does Jose work? Y yo le pregunto, Jose, do you work? And he says, yes, teacher, I work. Okay, so you know what? Eh, Lisbeth Alvarado, so yes, he does, actually he works, okay? If you see, tenemos acá los elementos, do, aquí está el auxiliar, subject, you, verb, have, a car, complement. And then I have does, auxiliary, Anita, subject, have, verb, brothers and sisters, complement, and question mark. And then I have does, auxiliary, Jose, subject, work, verb, and question mark, okay? Acuérdense que el complemento es opcional. Algunas veces lo vamos a tener, algunas veces no. ¿Qué hora es? Por si yo me emociono mucho. Bueno, son las 8.39. Bye. Entonces, what happens with the next questions? Okay, with the next question, I'm sorry. Voy a poner este ejemplo. Ay, perdón. Let me see Dania Bolaños. Dania. Dania Bolaños? Hello, Dania. Are you here? No, tiene pánico escénico. Very good. Eh, veamos, Lisbeth, are you here? Lisbeth Alvarado? Hola. Hola, hola. hola. ¿Quién es? Lisbeth, thank you, Lisbeth. Okay, sí, Lisbeth. Sí. Let me ask you this, Lisbeth. What time do you study English? Entonces sería... I'm studying English at, at 7 o'clock. Okay. I study English at 7 o'clock. I study English at 7 o'clock. Very good. Thank you very much. Oops. Thank you very much. Oh, my goodness. Oh, o'clock. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, now let me see uh, Kenny Yamilet Flores. Kenny, hi, Kenny, are you here? Kenny. Hi. Hi. Kenny, where do you study English? Um, I study English um, eight o'clock. No, where? Where? Ah, where? Mm -hmm. ¿A dónde? Where? Uh, Se nos fue. <laughs> no, aquí estoy. <laughs> Tell um, me. My home. My house. Oh, okay. I study English at home. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Let me see. Uh, what about you, Rosemary? Are you here, Rosemary? Rosemary, hello. Are you here? No. What about Janir Alberto? Janir Alberto, are you here? No? 
Tengo un L1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, Stylus 2 Plus, no sé quién. Yes, yes. Sí, dijo yes. Ah, oh, Yanira, Yanira. Yanira. Yanira, sí. why do you study English, Yanira? Why? Because mm -hmm. I want to care. I want, I, I just... I want to get a job. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Now take a look at the, at the difference here. Okay. Okay. Let me ask you this. With the first set of questions, when I said, do you have a car? Does Anita have brothers and sisters? Does Jose work? ¿Qué tipo de respuesta es la que yo puedo conseguir con ese tipo de preguntas? Mm -hmm. Yo creo que respuestas cortas y respuestas largas, ¿verdad? Mm, pero, ¿qué tipo de respuesta es la que yo obtengo ahí arriba? Son dos, eh, solamente dos. ¿Cuáles son? Sí. Son personales. Afirmativas. ¿Y? Aparte de afirmativas. Y negativas. Negativas. Ok. Entonces, eh, esto se llama, estas se llaman, yes, no, Questions. Porque se llama just no questions because there are only two answers that I can get. Either a yes or a no. And that's it. And these questions down here, they are called information questions. Okay, information questions. Porque se llaman information questions. Porque yo estoy buscando algo específico. ¿Y cuál es eso? Depende de la WH word que esté utilizando. Okay. Puede ser uh, what time. Si yo, uso, si yo digo what time, eso es una WH phrase, ¿ok? Si es una phrase es porque lleva el WH más una partícula más. O puede ser una w, WH word, como las de abajo, que es where do you study English and why do you study English, ¿ok? Si usted se fija, al yo preguntar what time, la respuesta es at 7 o'clock. Si yo pregunto, where do you study English? La respuesta es, at home. Y si yo pregunto, why do you study English? La respuesta es una razón. Because. Because I want to get a job. Okay? Entonces, whenever I have, the, whenever I have this type of questions, I have to be very careful. Es la misma fórmula, con la única diferencia de que, en vez de, um, de solo comenzar con el auxiliar, mi WH word pasa al principio. Ok, ¿hay alguna pregunta? No, teacher. No, very good. Ok, now let's move on. Ahora sí, voy a terminar de compartir. Aquí no se preocupen que ya le tomé el screenshot para compartirles esto después. Vamos a cerrar. No, vamos a clear, clear all my drawings. Clear all my drawings. I'm going to close here. I'm going to stop sharing. Y me voy a pasar a la sección 2. Bueno, estamos trabajando siempre en la sección 2. The only thing is that I needed to... Necesitaba hacer ese, ese... How can I say it? That clarification. So let me move on. And this is going to be... Oh, my. Okay. Share. Yes. Okay. Vaya, chicos. Entonces, um, here is where we were working, ¿verdad? Aquí es donde estábamos. We're, we were in the conversation. Ok. Entonces, de la conversación. Uh, what are the questions that you're able to identify? Can you see a question? What is like? What, what's, what's it like? Or what's, what is it like? Ok, very good. Pero hay otra pregunta que tiene que ver con present simple. Ese sí es present simple, pero present simple con verbo to be, ¿verdad? Does I have a view? Uh, does, does it have a view? Ok, does it have a view? Very good, does it have a view. Eso, chicos, que ustedes están viendo en pantalla para, para que no les quede la foto movida, eso es de la plataforma, eso es de la plataforma, yo lo tomé de la plataforma. Este es un ejercicio que ustedes... Es un video que ustedes tienen en la plataforma. Para que les quede más bonita, pueden meterse y tomar el screenshot de la plataforma o en la reunión, ¿verdad? Para que les quede a ustedes. Pero este está ahí, no se preocupen. Now, this information, guys, 
And these are the questions, okay, that we can ask whenever we're talking about a house, right? It says, do you live in an apartment? No, I don't. Or yes, I do. Or no, I don't. Okay. Do the bedrooms have big windows? Yes, they do. Or no, they don't. Does Chris live in a house? Yes, he does. Or no, he doesn't. Does the house have a yard? Yes, it does. Or no, it doesn't. Okay. So actually, that's going to be um, like the formula. Ahora que ustedes conocen la formula, ¿cuáles serían los elementos que ustedes ven en estas preguntas? ¿Cuál es el primero? What is this? El auxiliar. Exactly, the auxiliary. Oh, what about this? The subject. Subject, okay. What about this? Verb. Verb. What type of verb? ¿Qué tipo de verbo? Simple. Simple. Regular. Regular. No. Base form. Very good. Very good. It's base form. Okay. It's base form. Está la llena. Te voy a ir ya descansando. Vamos a quitar la llena. Uh, qué rico. ¿Quién tiene los micrófonos? Se está quitando la llena. ¿Quién se está quitando la llena? El auditor. Okay, thank you. Now, guys. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Don't worry. That sounded very comfortable, right? So, no problem. So, if you're... A mi, a mi hijo. <laughs> ah, okay. Very good. Excellent. So, now, excellent, guys. Yes, it's there, but in the base form. Es en la forma base, ¿verdad? Eso es la respuesta. Forma base, teacher. ¿Qué quiere decir forma base? Sin modificaciones, sin alteraciones, el nombre del verbo. That's it. Okay? Y después de leave, what do we have? Complement. Complement. Y en la Question mark. Compliment. Question mark. Ok. ¿Y cómo se llaman estas preguntas? ¿Todas ellas? Simple person. Simple person. No. Yes or no. Yes no or no. Question. No question. No question. Very good. Excellent. Ok. Now, as you were saying, right, for the pronouns, I, you, we and they, pero no solamente eso, porque yo siempre enfatizo, and plural nouns, we are going to use do or don't. Do or don't. Do para questions, don't para negativas. I mean, it's up to you because actually that is like the, the contraction, right? But if you, instead of, you know, uh, using the contractions, you want to use the, um, the full form, that's totally fine. You can say, do not. I do not have brothers and sisters, right? Or I don't have brothers and sisters. Or then down we have for the pronouns, he, she, it, and singular nouns. We're going to use does for questions and we're going to use doesn't for negative statements. But doesn't, it's the contraction, but if you want to use the full form, that's totally fine. I can say, I, I mean, she does not. She does not have brothers and sisters, right? So actually it's up to you if you want to use the contraction or the full form, okay? Now, um, here I have more examples, right? Con el verbo have. Because actually have, as you know, is irregular, ¿verdad? Acuérdense que have, Es, tenemos dos formas, tenemos have y tenemos has, ¿ok? De hecho, estas son anotaciones que yo hice con el, modo, el principiante 2 anterior, ¿verdad? Pero para que ustedes la vean, la dejé acá. Entonces, have is different, guys, because con have it says, for example, if I want to use for I, you, we, and they, I use have. I have a blue car, you have a nice dress, and we have two kids, or they have a beautiful house. Pero cuando ya uso, bueno, y plurales, ¿verdad? Students have, students have homework and children have a lot of toys. Pero si ya quiero usar yo he, she, it, ¿verdad? Or singular nouns, entonces voy a usar has. He has black hair. She has a baby. It has two rooms. And then for singular nouns, okay, the computer. The computer has stickers, uh, Mary has two children. The chair has two colors, okay, etc. Right? So, <coughs> information that uh, you can go ahead and use, right? Uh, to remember that have is irregular verb, it's irregular. 
And just let me see. Vaya, tengo hasta ahí, pero voy a pasar a la siguiente presentación. Give me one second. Session four. I mean, presentation number four. Give me one second. Let me stop sharing here. And I'm going to start sharing here. Chicos, solamente aclarando, eh, ya voy a pasar lista de nuevo así rapidín. Eh, lo que yo les comparte por el, lo que yo les voy a compartir por el chat no son tareas, son ejercicios adicionales para que usted practique. Eh, esos ejercicios, pues, eh, como se automáticamente se califican ellos solos, usted puede hacerlos las veces que sean necesarias. I share videos, I share interactive worksheets, I share websites, I share um, vocabulary. Eso es todo lo que yo comparto por el chat, pero eso es para usted, para que usted tenga material adicional. Pero no tiene que mandarme nada, ni tiene que reportarme nin, ningún, eh, ningún avance. Eso es más que todo a nivel personal, ¿verdad? Cada quien sabe cómo lleva su tiempo. Así que en el tiempo que usted le quede libre, puede, puede trabajar todas las cosas que yo le he mandado, no problem, ok. Mañana, si me lo permiten, pues les quisiera mandar eh, ciertos links para que ustedes practiquen, ya que no hemos estado juntos los primeros tres días de clases. Durante los primeros tres días de clase, pues yo tengo ahí una lista de cosas que he compartido anteriormente con otros estudiantes, probablemente les puedan servir a ustedes también. So I'm going to pass the attendance one more time, ¿verdad? Give me one second. Uh, Anja Abigail, is, is, is she here? Ancha Abigail, no. Karina Yesenia Alemán, sí, ¿verdad? Ella me dijo que aquí estaba. Yes. Eh, Samuel Jonathan Anaya. Samuel, no. Brian Armando Arevalo. Brian Armando Arevalo, no. Eh, Dania Guadalupe Bolaños. Dania. Dania. No está, ok. What about Mario Alberto Escobar Polanco? No está Mario Alberto. What about Daisy Carolina Flores Alvarado? Daisy? Dania está por acá. Si está por acá, escríbame al chat porque veo que no se le escucha su voz y como que se activase de repente. Aquí estoy, teacher. Es que creo que los audífonos no me servían. Ah, ok. Ya le puse aquí que aquí está en la clase. Thank you very much. Daisy Carolina Flores? No. Ni tampoco Mario Alberto Escobar, ¿verdad? Eh, Rosemary Carolina? Thank you. José Rigoberto Martínez? José Rigoberto Martínez? No. Eh, Yanira del Carmen Martínez? Yanira. I'm here. I'm here. Eh, Carla Paola? Thank you, Yanira. Carla Paola? I'm here. Thank you. What about Elisa Elizabeth Martinez? Sara, Elizabeth Martinez. No. Diego Serrano Grande. Presente, teacher. Thank you. And Walter Manuel Vindel Retana. Walter, Manuel, Vindel. No. Bye. Okay, so, well, guys, let me share with you. Y se falta ya, profe. ¿Quién dijo? Ah, sí. Rosenberg. Sí, sí mencioné a Rosenberg. Ya lo, ya lo, ya lo, ya le dije. Al principio, pero ahorita eh, no. José Edgardo, teacher. Ahí es, púntemelo en el chat, en el chat. Es que después lo tomo, porque si no, se me va sí. la piscucha. Silvia de Rivera también lo mencionó, teacher. Agréguenmelo en el chat, por favor, y yo los agrego aquí a la lista, no hay problema. Muchísimas gracias. Si están en el chat, no se preocupe, que ya luego yo lo agrego ahí. Si no lo mencioné, yo lo tomo del chat, tranquilo. Vaya, ok. Entonces, para seguir, chicos, <ríe> ya se me acabó el tiempo. Ya seguir iba, pero este, sí, porque aquí iba a mencionar el vocabulario que teníamos que ver. Vaya, chicos, como, bueno, yo voy a hablar con la coordinadora porque yo sé, pues, que a ustedes los tomé hasta este día, ¿verdad? Ya como students para, con, que van a trabajar conmigo. Le, le voy a solo mencionar que el día lunes estaríamos finalizando, ¿verdad?, con la sección número 2. 
pero la verdad es que nuestra meta es que para el día de mañana viernes la sección número 2 en su plataforma ya esté contestada. Hagan todo lo posible por contestarla. Si no la puede contestar y hay algún problema con algún ejercicio, solo anótelo, me lo trae para acá y yo con mucho, ay, espérenme que aquí tengo las cámaras. Ay, lo voy a pasar para acá para ver para acá. Entonces, um, anótelo porque yo vengo y le ayudo. Igual cualquier pregunta, cualquier cosita, anótale en su cuadernito, me la trae acá para que la respondamos por si alguien más tiene esa misma duda, entonces aquí la responderemos. Yo el día de mañana les estaré compartiendo información adicional, ejercicios adicionales, ¿verdad? Para que usted trabaje extra cuando tenga tiempo. Por mi parte, pues, solo decirles que es un placer atenderles, ¿verdad? Y, pues, espero que podamos continuar trabajando eh, de la mejor manera, ¿verdad? Y, pues, eh, un gusto, chicos. No sé si tienen alguna pregunta antes de que me vaya, porque ya solo me tengo que salir ya a las y 59, porque si no voy a afectar al, al maestro que va a utilizar la clase. ¿Questions? No, no, no. Thank you very much. See you Monday. Thank you very much. See you Monday, guys. And have a great weekend. Bye bye. Bye bye. Have a nice weekend. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.